Good morning, guys. Um, it is the morning of my breast augmentation and the start of this vlog. It's going to be a little crazy. I do not usually vlog on my channel, but I felt like this is something I would like to document for myself and for you guys. Um, if anyone out there is transgender, just like me, and is looking to have a breast augmentation, or you are just a cisgendered woman and you want to have a breast augmentation, I'm just going to kind of like show you guys my experience. Now, obviously, all experiences are a little bit different, and what I experience could be totally different from what someone else experiences. So just kind of take what I am going through with a grain of salt, and um, yeah. So it is the morning of surgery. I have no makeup on. I have no lotions on. I have no creams on. I have nothing on my face. I have brushed my teeth, um, and I am showered, and my hair is done, and we're going to be leaving for the surgery center in a couple of minutes, but I wanted to start this vlog off because I feel like if I don't start it now, I won't start it later, and I have this like really big baggy, like this is literally a boy, like jacket um all i have it on under this is a bra and i have like really baggy sweats actually they're my benefit sweatpants shout out to benefit um uh coming through with the sweatpants for this surgery <laughs> um i do want to make a little disclaimer and let you guys know that if you guys are transgendered and you see girls like me having surgery or um, other girls like getting crazy plastic surgery done and you feel like that's something that you need to do um i just want you guys to know that like a medical transition um, it's based off of if you, if you want to medically transition, but that doesn't make your transition invalid. So you are just as much transgendered as the rest of us. If you don't decide to medically transition or you decide not to have any surgeries, you are just as trans as the rest of us. So I just want to let that be known. This surgery is just something that I have wanted for a very long time and something I have really kind of gone back and forth on and I have decided that it is something that I need to do for me. And um, this is definitely not the last one, so be ready for more vlogs, but my arm is literally killing me because uh, I don't vlog. But I will see you guys probably at the surgery center. Yeah. I'm a little nervous, but I'm more excited than anything. This is like something I've wanted for so long. So... I'll see you guys uh, at the surgery center. Okay guys, so I'm here with my anesthesia thing in my arm, or it's an IV, and we're gonna be going into surgery soon, so I'll see you guys in an hour. Um, I'll probably be bandaged up dying, but it's all worth it, this is my aunt. You're gonna look here. fabulous. All right guys, see you in about an hour. Hi guys, so I am back from surgery. We did not film any of like the recovery because it was just a lot. Um, at once, like just me waking up and stuff. Um, it went really, really well according to the doctor who told my aunt um, everything. So I am really, really happy. I'm all bandaged up so you guys cannot see anything. But um, they look really, really, really good. And I can't wait for them to kind of settle and like drop and like just be looking a little bit more like boobs. I mean, you can't really see anything because, like I said, I'm all bandaged up and everything. I just took two Tylenol. I'm deciding that I'm not gonna do any of the, like the crazy pain meds. Um, I'm not really having a lot of pain at all. Like literally I woke up, I was fine. Though I'm just having like some discomfort. It's just like, it doesn't feel like an elephant sitting on your chest. Like a lot of people I know, I watched tons of videos and then I go, oh my God, it feels like an elephant is sitting on your chest. It just feels like tight. Everyone did say it's kind of like a chest workout and it never really worked out my chest, but I could tell you it feels kind of just like that. So I'm deciding to do Tylenol instead of like the crazy oxycodone or whatever that they wanted me to do um because i heard that that can make you nauseous sick it makes you feel loopy and i'm like i'm pretty coherent now and my pain level is pretty high like my pain tolerance level like is good so i'm like gucci um like i'm doing a lot better than i had thought i was going to be doing honestly um i just imagined waking up and being like belligerent and like mean or whatever I like woke up and I was like totally normal I just started like yapping my mouth again because all I do is talk um but yeah so I just took like some Tylenol and I think I'm just gonna like relax like I'm not even that tired um I slept like the whole car ride back because where I got my surgery done was like an hour and a half away from like my home so I am yeah I slept the whole way and I feel pretty good like honestly I feel good um they told me that I should sleep like in like a bark lounge or a recliner tonight just because you want to sit up because if you kind of lay flat like all the pressure is like really on your chest and you really won't feel like you're going to be able to breathe so 
yeah, I'm doing really, really well. I'll keep you guys kind of updated. Um, I've just had crackers so far. I've not been nauseous at all. Um, I know a lot of people, when they wake up from anesthesia, are like, oh my god, I'm so nauseous. I woke up perfectly fine. No nausea, no nothing. Um, I was doing really, really, really well. So I had crackers, and then I think I'm going to have, like, just, like, a sandwich, like a peanut butter sandwich now. And, like, kind of just take it easy just for today. Um, they were, they were like, yeah, like, don't go, like, running through the McDonald's drive through and getting the greasiest thing on the menu. They're like, that's not going to be, like, great for your stomach. But, like, just things that are, like, light. And I was like, okay, I don't feel nauseous, so I'm just going to, like, take it easy and just see how it goes. Um, but, yeah, I'm doing pretty, pretty well well and I'm very excited to see the end result when I can like kind of take the bandages off and live my life like a normal person again um but yeah so I'll check in later my boyfriend's gonna be coming down and just kind of hanging out with me for a while so love you guys and I'll see you guys soon hey guys so it's post-op day one um I'm feeling amazing I have not taken any of my narcotics I've just been taking Tylenol and my antibiotics every four hours. Um, I've been up and at them today. Um, I like went to the store with my boyfriend. We like made food and everything. So I'm not like lifting anything heavy because you're not supposed to lift anything over five pounds. Um, and I'm not like doing any strenuous work, but I'm like getting myself up and moving because I don't want my arms to get like super stiff. I'm kind of nervous about them getting like super stiff and all that. Sorry for the glare on my glasses. I'm just like sitting in front of a window just to get some like decent lighting. I haven't put makeup on today just because I was lazy and I really don't see a need for it. There's like nobody I'm impressing. Um, but yeah, I just put my hair up. Well, my best friend put my hair up because I wanted it out of my face and I'm feeling pretty good for like the first day. Um, the only thing that like kind of bothered me a little was I was like standing up and walking around a lot and I just felt like the implant was kind of like resting on like the incision site and that like hurt for a minute it wasn't anything crazy um but it was just like felt like because I was like standing up and gravity was like pushing the implant down that it was like resting on like where like the incision site was and it like hurt for a minute but other than that I'm like totally fine um really minimal to no pain at all if I had to like give you a pain scale on like one to ten hi mom um, if I had to give you, like, a pain level it, between, like, a 1 and a 10, I would say a 1. Probably not even a 1. Like, I'm in no pain at all. Like, I'm honestly, like, feeling pretty good. Like, probably, like, better than I, like, thought I would be. But I'm still taking everything so easy because I do want them to, like, heal properly. And they said I can, like, shower today. But I don't really feel comfortable with that yet, so I'm going to do it tomorrow. But I'm not going to be showing my boobs on the internet, just so you guys know. But, like, they have this, like, thing to kind of, like, push them down and then the surgical bra they have you wear or whatever. Um, I'm going to kind of update you guys for, like, a couple of the days. I mean, I feel like I'm not going to update you every single day. I'll probably update you guys again tomorrow, like, post-up day two. And then, like, after I get the bandages removed and stuff on Thursday. And then it's bra shopping and just going to take care of them and let them heal for as long as they need to. So I will keep you guys updated, but I will see you guys probably tomorrow or if anything changes. Hey guys. So I know it's been a little bit since I have done like an update on my breast augmentation. Um, I did have my one week post-op appointment on Thursday and it is Tuesday. I know I'm a little late in the game. I'm almost two weeks post-op, um, but I wanted to kind of just tell you guys how my one week went. And all that other stuff. So I, like I said before, I had no pain at all. Um, as you guys can see, they are like really high up on my chest um, still. And you can see like a perfect outline of them. That will go away um, once they drop and like settle into the pocket and stuff like that. They're still very new, obviously. It's only been like two weeks since I've gotten them. Um, yeah, so the week really was nothing stressful. I went and saw my doctor and they just... Um, underneath is where I had the incision done. So I had like steri strips there and he just clipped one of the like stitches. It was like the end of the stitch. And then he told me to leave the steri strip on until it falls off naturally in the shower. Um, except if it's not off like within three weeks, then just like stand in hot water and like just, it'll fall off by itself. So 
I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to update you guys like within this like one week vlog. Um, I really don't vlog that much, so that's why it was kind of like a little bit difficult for me to do this. But I wanted to show you guys like my before feelings, my after feelings. I'm so excited now. I can't wait um to like buy new clothes and stuff. I did go um this past weekend to try to find like a bathing suit, and I did like it was a little discouraging because. My chest now is a little bit bigger than, like, I had anticipated. So, I have, like, the bra that I'm wearing right now is, like, a sports bra from Victoria's Secret that zips in the front just because he wanted me to not wear anything with underwear for a month. And he wanted something that zips in the front just makes it easier and just, like, kind of cotton bras with, like, no, like, underwear. So, I just got, like, the sports bra from Victoria's Secret. Zips in the front makes my life easy. And I've been kind of wearing that and a couple other bralettes I got from Forever 21. Oh, yeah. So, I did go shopping this weekend and I tried on a couple of bathing suits and my chest is bigger than I anticipated. And it fits my body, but, like, my body is not huge. So, it's, like, I feel like I have to buy shirts that are bigger now to, like, fit my chest. And, like, it's going to be, like, instead of a medium, I'll have to buy a large. And I'm just, like, oh, just to fit my boobs in it. But I'm kind of lucky that bathing suits, like, come top and bottom separately, so I don't have to, like, buy them together. You know what I mean? But I'm still in the search for a bathing suit. So if you guys have any places that you guys have gotten, like, bathing suits from, let me know down below. I'm looking for, like, I don't know. I'm kind of looking for anything, honestly. So your suggestions are welcome. Um, I am going to do a sit-down video like all dedicated to my breast augmentation just because I feel like vlogging is kind of hard and I feel like I don't ever really touch on all the points that I want to but I wanted to show you guys the before the after the during like I really wanted to take you guys along for this ride um I wish I filmed a little bit more like during the like recovery part of the surgery like me like waking up from anesthesia and stuff like that but it legitimately took a half an hour for me to wake up and then like then they brought my like family in and by that time they were trying to like get me out of the hospital they were just like okay so um like how are you feeling and like I literally took like a sip of like ginger ale or something and they're like how are you feeling and I like came to like really quick so it was just kind of like a really 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 fast and quick thing so I felt rushed and I didn't feel like I could like sit and like pull out my my phone and like film something for you guys so that's why I don't really have anything of like me waking up from the anesthesia um but yeah I'm gonna go in depth of everything um like anesthesia wise like I don't know if I mentioned the cc's that I got where I got it um and all that like I will mention that in a different video so don't worry if you guys missed it or I didn't say it um I will do a sit down video if that's something you guys want to see and I will keep you guys updated um later on just like let you know about this just because I feel like when I was looking to get my breast augmentation done, um, I was just kind of searching the internet and, like, YouTube to see, like, other people's experiences to make sure, like, okay, like, all the options. Like, okay, so I can wake up from anesthesia and feel nauseous. Or I can wake up and feel, like, perfectly fine. You know what I mean? Like, I just wanted to weigh my options. So I'm kind of just putting my video out there for anybody who is going or, like, thinking about getting the surgery done. My arm is getting really tired, so I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. The button is down there if you guys are new to my channel. Hi. <laughs> and I will see you guys on my next video.